Oh, <clears throat> damn it. <laughs> Shit. This is a bad way to start an episode. Hang on. Um. Um. Chipotle. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Um. Okay. Oh, it's right. Mmm. Ah. Okay. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Fable. Uh, today. <laughs> we're not quite ready to stop laughing. We're not quite <laughs> ready to start back on the main story just yet. We have one last thing we're going to do first. Um, Bowerstone South, go! And it's not really a side quest. Um, well, it is, and it isn't. So here we are in Bowerstone. Uh, we have a bit of money to collect, but I'll get that later. I'm not too concerned about money right now. Are all the shops closed? Yeah, okay. That's fine. But, as you recall, after we beat the, um, arena, we got access. Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. To Barstow North. So we will be going there now. Welcome to Barstow North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behavior here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside of Mention. This is a great honor, even for a hero, so mind your manners. All right, let's go talk to Lady Grey. Aren't you going to talk to me? So, you're the one everyone is talking about. I must say, you have me intrigued. Will you walk with me to the courtyard? I would so love to speak with you. Okay. It's lovely here, don't you think? But sometimes it feels like the loneliest place in the world. You see, I haven't married yet. Somehow I've never met a man worthy enough. I've always known that only someone who could conquer the arena could conquer me. Perhaps you could bring me a gift from town. I'm sure you can find something fitting for a lady. Ugh. Okay. Let's do that. We might have to, uh... Force this shop to open. Yeah, we're gonna have to force this shop to open. Let me um, get into my equipment here. We're gonna go ahead and burn a golden carrot. There we go. Shame I couldn't just have the Song of Time on call, but your lordship, worshipped by all. All right, you. What you kind of lady gifts place. do you have? Um, will potions. Oh, those are good for a lady. Perfume, red roses, chocolates, wedding ring, diamond, emerald, ruby, sapphire. Oh, they got the Pokemon games. Um, black rose. That is actually what we need. We need one black rose. For some reason, she likes black roses. I don't know why, but yeah. So we're gonna throw that at her and she'll basically open her dress to us immediately. Here you go, lady. Oh, that's beautiful. I knew you'd have a romantic soul. Not like some heroes. Oh, thunder sucks. Of course, <laughs> a woman in my position can't marry into poverty. The very least one can expect is that a man will have his own house. I have my own house. I'm so pleased to hear you have a house. Okay, good. I wouldn't want to think you wanted to marry for the money. Would you do something heroic for me now? A while ago, I lost a necklace. It is most precious to me. Perhaps you could investigate round town. Someone must know its whereabouts. Okay. Let's find this necklace, I guess. Um... Surely we could talk to the guard captain about that. Ha. Hey, buddy! Steer clear of the holding cell. We've got a real nutcase in there. Hmm. A real nutcase, he says. Hello. 
I wonder. Let's go talk to this guy. Hello? Ha! Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. <laughs> Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches, and I'll be executed. Um, you know, okay. I'll do that. Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. What? Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Oh, no, wow, okay. Um. They hmm. don't want you to know the truth! You really are devoted to the lady, aren't you? Maybe. Sort of questioning that now. Well, if she's looking for information, you should talk to some of the men around the town. Really? We have such gossips in Bowerstone North. You'd think they'd have better things to do. All right. Well, let's see. Before we go investigating Lady Gray, let's just they keep talking to random nice people. Ah! See if anyone knows anything. There's talk going round that the lady's looking to marry. Yeah. Wouldn't like to be in the poor fool's shoes, I can tell you. Oh. There's something not right about her. Did you know her sister disappeared? Wow. That's apparently a popular topic. Without a trace, she was last seen at the Grey House. No one knows what happened. Hmm, that's another guy telling us to investigate the Grey House. Let's see if there's, um... Crop circles, abductions, nymph sightings, it all adds up! <laughs> oh my god, this guy's a riot. So hey. you've heard about her sister too, huh? Yeah, everyone has. Seems that no one is quite sure of our mayor's history. Did you know she wears her sister's necklace all the time? Weird. Ha! Huh. All right, well, that's the third person telling us something weird's going on here. So, you know, let's go ahead and go to the Grey House. I'm not crazy! The truth wants to be free! Well, let's, let's see. That's next to Borrow Fields, isn't it? Yeah, sure, totally. And we now have a quest, investigating the mayor. So let's do our investigation. He said every day would be a little better. Amanda. Yes, of course I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So, we'd meet in secret in the Grey House cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. Man, this is some shit. Um, okay. Let's actually go to the Grey House now. We were supposed to meet Teresa there anyway. Um. But Lady Grey's sounding more and more of a monster the further we go. So maybe we shouldn't mess with her too much. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him. Just like they're after me. I 
can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? Uh. The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. 